forward. Perfect. All right. Well, thank you so much for joining the Divinely Driven Results live show. I am super excited to have such an incredible guest here today, guys. And we're going to be talking about discovering God's will for you and your business. This can be a hard subject sometimes to be able to understand what is God's will for you. Have you ever wished that you knew what his will was for you, either in a certain situation or with your business in general? I know I have for sure. <laughs> And, you know, does God want you to know his will for you? And how can you really discover that? There's so many different ways that we can look at this. And I'm just super excited that we have such an incredible guest to really walk us through how to understand God's will for us even more. So uh, this is Dee Gredler. She is a spiritual life coach. Dee Gredler has been ministering to women for the last 30 years. She taught precept Bible studies for 15 years, returned to school and got her master's of divinity. This woman is amazing, guys. Uh, serving on staff with two churches, and she turned to coaching as a means to help women hear from God. Dee and her husband, Mark, have been married for 47 years, and I am just so honored and thrilled to have Dee talk to us about an extremely important subject of understanding God's will for you and your business. So welcome, Dee. Thank you, Elise. I'm so glad to be here. Absolutely. So tell us a little bit about how you got started in your business. I know it kind of was a little bit in your bio, but let's hear it from you. What's your story? Well, I, I had tried different um, areas to coach in, but I, I just um, realized there was one area that I was, um, you know, God had prepared me for more than any other area, and that was working with women. And And when I started doing that, I noticed that when I would ask them what was their biggest question whenever um, they thought about their spiritual life, it was, how can I know God's will? And so this is how I got started in this area. Ah, that's beautiful. And we come from this place of, you know, needing to understand God's will because we're trying to do his work, right? We're building up his kingdom and his business, not our own. And so it's easy for us to just say like, oh, I'm going to do whatever I want to do. But as Christian women, you know, of faith and in business, we are trying to do God's will. And so that's why it's so important to be able to understand it first. So exactly. talk to us about how we can really amplify that in our lives and our businesses. Well, like you said, we all want to know what God's will is for us because um, that is who we want to glorify at the end of the day. And so when we think about doing that, um, we, we wonder how we can go about it. I know I, I had a friend who said, if you would just leave me a note on the kitchen table, you know, <laughs> Amen. <laughs> you know that would make it so much easier for all of us if, if God would do that, but he doesn't. Yet at the same time, he wants us to know what his will is more than we want to know what his will is. So he is um, he's either going to reveal that to us and if we, you know, so that we get the message or even if we don't get the message, he's going to make sure that we realize that we're starting down the wrong path and that we need to turn around, that there's, um, you know, there there is no way that we can really step completely outside of his will unless it includes um sin and you know we need to watch out for that in our in our lives but god god does want to want us to know his will and as business women we want so much to do that and at the same time it takes what we've got a premium of and that's time um we can't just read the note on the kitchen table we have to spend time with God, and there are ways of doing that, those spiritual disciplines that um, can get us pointed in that right direction of what God's will for us is. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Now, before we get into kind of those spiritual disciplines and some of your steps that you can help us with, I was just thinking about, uh, so in our Bible study, we have our um, our membership for our monthly uh, our membership students, right? And we just picked up a new book called uh, Discerning the Voice of God by Priscilla Shire. It's such a good book already, I can tell. It's amazing. But one of the parts that she's talking about is that her dad used to play hide and go seek with her when she was little. 
And I had to think about this differently now that I'm a mom, because normally I'd be like a competitive streak. I would want to go hide somewhere so that people couldn't find me and that they'd finally just give up and get frustrated and be like, okay, fine, you win, come out, right? Uh, And sometimes we feel like God does that to us, like he's hiding uh, so that we can't find him. But the thing about it that stood out to me is that she talked about her dad hiding in places where like his shoe was available or, you know, he he wasn't really hiding to frustrate her or to, you know, get her to lose. He was hiding for her to have the joy of finding him. Oh my mm-hmm. heavens. When you t- apply that to God, isn't mm-hmm. that so exciting? So that it comes, it becomes this lifelong journey and process that we get to discover. I love how you put this in the title, discovering God's will for you and your business. Can you talk to us about what your thoughts are on that? And, you know, have you had any experiences like that before? Um, I, I think that's a, a really neat, you know, um, application or, or ex- uh, that she can show us a way that God wants us to find him. Um, I think the biggest time that I have ever sought God, um, it was at a time when I wasn't the one making the decision. It was someone else. And um, and, and this goes back to, it's a little off finding God's will. I think we picked the wrong path mm-hmm. and it turned out to be a hard thing, but God taught me so much through that Mm -hmm. Um, so that even if we do miss it a little bit, God is still going to be there, but we do want to discover what that is. And so like, like she was saying, you have to look for those traces of God, those, you know, the shoe sticking out from behind the curtain or whatever. (laughs) Um, (laughs) You have to be um, aware of those things. And so that takes intention on your part that, that like her as a child, she just wasn't walking through the house with no aim. She had an aim in view, and that was to find her dad. And so she was intent on looking for him. And that's what we have to be too. And we have to realize that if we don't find him on day one or day two or day three, that there is going to come a day when we'll see that shoe um, and realize what it is that, that God wants us to do. Yes. Oh, yes. I think it reminds me of the scripture, seek and you shall find, right? Mm -hmm. Like that, that I never thought about that little kid's game being such an incredibly powerful tool to understand how God speaks to you. You know, his gospel and the things that he teaches us can be understood by even a child that talks about in the scriptures, right? And be Mm -hmm. as a little child, help you to apply these types of things. And so sometimes I think as adults and especially as business owners, we complicate things. <laughs> we make it harder mm-hmm. than it has to be. And if we just go back to being a little child, look for that shoe, right? Look for ways that God is in your life and your business and you will find them. It, the scriptures promise us that you seek and you will find. And then what happens when we see those things in our lives and our business, D? Well, then that's when we can begin to focus in on what direction God wants us to go. Um, we can um, say, okay, I've, I've got a beginning point now. I see, you know, where it is. I think I see the first step that I should take in order to continue to go forward. And and there are times when God will kind of give us a, a kind of a big overall picture of where it is he wants us to go. But then there are times when he just takes us step by step. And we need to be aware of that too, that if, even if we don't see the big picture, if we just take that first step and walk towards that shoe, um, that we'll see what the next step is supposed to be when we need to know what that next step is. Yes. And that's how we build our faith, right? Because we're on this journey, not just to make a bunch of money or even to serve a lot of amazing people, but it's, we get to do all those things while we become the person that God wants us to become. It truly is about that journey. And so when we have those moments where, you know, we feel like we're in the dark and we are searching and searching everywhere for God, and we may not be able to find him in the way that we think we're going to find him. 
then we have those moments where we can have faith building um, experiences that will provide so much more strength for us when we go through even more difficult things or even just laying the groundwork for just good experiences to come as well. So I think that's really important for us to remember. So if you have a, a woman who is listening or watching to the watching this and she doesn't feel like she's heard God's voice or knows how to discern what, you know, what that looks like for her. What kind of tips would you give her, Dee? Well, first of all, I would say you need to be in the word that, mm -hmm. um, you know, if, if you're not in his word, it's more difficult for God to speak to you. Um, he can certainly, but if you're not intent on what he has to say, then, um, you may miss something very important if you're not in his words. So you need to be there and you need to be spending time in it, not just to open the Bible, read for three minutes and, you know, think that you've been in his word and he still didn't speak to me. There's got to be consistency. There's got to be some time in there. And so you need to do that. There needs to be prayer too, that, um, you know, you seek him and that, um, that is the most important thing in your life is seeking and knowing God through his word and, and through conversing with him. And then be still and give him a chance to talk back to you. Don't just um, say, OK, I, I prayed for 15 minutes and now I need to get up and go. Make sure you've built in time to just listen and see if he's got anything that he wants to say to you. Um, and then I. I would um, suggest also that, that you have at least one other person who's a mature Christian who's praying with you and that you can talk these things over with that um, and who knows what, what you know, your, your background, what your circumstances are. Um, you wouldn't ask a, a doctor to help you find out um, how to seed your grass. And so mm -hmm. you want somebody who knows what you're going through in order to have some kind of insight onto what it is that you need. So have that person there that can that you can talk with, that you can tell them what, what you've seen so far. They can help you um, maybe get a, another view on it or a sharper focus on it. Um, I think those are the three most important things is word and prayer and then the, the support of another um, Christian coach, mentor, whatever, who can help you to discern what's going on. Mm, powerful, powerful stuff for sure. And I know I've seen that in my own life is like, uh, I think there's a, a quote and I can't remember who it's by, but it's basically like, if you um, want to talk to God, you pray. And if you want God to talk to you, you get in his word. Because mm -hmm. that is one of the most powerful tools that, you know, that we have to be able to understand God's word. And I think that we, we use this phrase all the time of you get what you put into it, but it's the same thing with the relationship with God. Uh, there's been clients and people that I've talked to before where it's like, I just feel like I'm not getting anything from God. And it's like, well, how much time are you spending with him? Right. I mean, especially when it comes to business, we have so many decisions to make. And so, you know, do I choose this path or this path? And, you know, there's all these different things that we want to build up God's kingdom through our business. And there's so many things that can uh, distract us and take us away. But if we can stay close to the vine, right, it talks about that in the scriptures of staying close to Jesus Christ, the true vine, then we can know what ways he wants us to go. And I love that you brought up at the very beginning of our conversation, like he won't let you go down that path without telling you, you know, that's a fear. I think that some people really have is like, what if, what if God wants me to go down a really, really difficult path and you know, that that's the wrong path for me. What are your thoughts when someone kind of has that fear, D? To let them know that, that God can always intervene and will intervene and get you back to where you should be. Um, it might not be easy, it not, might not be comfortable, but you know, if you start going down the wrong path, God's not gonna say, I give up, 
You know, <laughs> I'm, I'm never going to speak to her again or, or try to have her hear me. Um, that's not what he wants at all. He wants you on that right path and in that in that right place. And he'll do what it takes to get you there. Yeah, over and over and over again, even if mm-hmm. we, yeah, that's why the gift of repentance is such a beautiful thing. And I know there's a lot of uh, baggage and thoughts that come from the word repentance, but it's the ability that he has to help you get back on that path. And he never gives up on us. And even mm-hmm. if that path is really difficult, it's possibly the path that we were meant to go down for our greater good or for the the greater good of other people. And so, exactly, yeah, so I think just Discovering God's will for you and in your business is so, so important to take the time to be with him and do those steps that Dee just talked about, because it's, it's taking the time to be with him and understanding his word. So beautiful, beautiful. Now, um, what is uh, one last message that you feel like God has put on your heart to share with our audience here today? To trust God and, and do know that he loves you more than we can ever love him. That, that he is not going to, um, he's not going to let you go wild. <laughs> um, you know, he's just not going to do it. His, his will for you is your sanctification in the end. And so he's going to make sure that that happens and, and just trust him for that. Yeah. Yeah. And I think along with trust is being patient too. Like it doesn't happen the way that we expect it to sometimes, and it doesn't always happen in our timing and it, you know, but he understands that bigger picture. And just like you said earlier, he may show you the big picture. And sometimes that's a huge blessing. And sometimes that's really terrifying. (laughs) You're like, wait, what that's coming. Uh, But you know, there's other times where he'll just show you that step and he will give you what you need when you need it as you stay close to him. And I think that that's so important for us to remember is that we're, we're doing the best we can ladies at following God's will. As long as you stay close to him and keep asking and keep that connection with him, he will not lead you astray. Just like D said. So ah, beautiful, beautiful D. So if people want to get to know more about what you're up to and, and anything that you have to help them, uh, please tell us more about that. Um, you can always reach me at, in the Facebook group, be, be Renewed, B-E, Renewed from Ephesians, and Be Renewed in the Spirit of Your Mind. Um, that's how you can get in contact with me. Awesome. And it's a great Facebook group, guys. So go and check it out, Be Renewed on Facebook, for sure. Awesome. And I'm sure that you can connect with her on all the different social media channels and things like that. Um, And Dee, thank you so much for being here and just sharing your love and your wisdom um, and just the message that God has put on your heart today. It's something that I think that there's a lot of people who need this message and we all need it from time to time. Mm -hmm. (laughs) So, Mm -hmm. So thanks for being here. And if you guys want more tips on how to grow your business in the Lord's way, as opposed to the world's way, want to connect with other Christian women entrepreneurs in free networking events and in a Facebook group and advertise your business on Saturday's comment thread, make sure you come join us in our free Facebook group called Faithful Ladypreneurs. We'd love to have you come join us. You can also check out our website at divinelydrivenresults.com. All right, Dee, thank you so much again for being here with us. Thank you, Elise. Awesome. All right, we will guys, we will see you next time on Divinely Driven Results.